Alright, so we're talking about stress, say it, and the causes of stress. Uh chapter can the right. And now we're gonna talk about how to measure stress. Then so hopefully we're gonna talk about how to uh, relieve people of stress, treatments, what that I do. So stress, how do you measure it? Well, <clears throat> uh, there are different ways to measure stress, right? For example, you can just ask someone how stressful they are. So that is going to be a self report. They're going to tell you how much they're stressed, you know, but stress can be measured in other uh, manners as well. Surprisingly, you can conduct a medical test, your blood test, out there, and that can tell you how much stressed you are. It can also sometimes brain scans can also give an indication of how much stressed the person is. So basically there are areas in the brain uh, that gets activated when you're stressed. And if brain scans are that that area is activated, activated. So we're not only going to know if you're stressed or not, we're also going to know uh, how much stressed you are. So let's find out. Let's talk about this first. First of all, we have the biomedical method, aka the physiological method to find out how stressed the person is. So we're going to look at Wang in 2005. So Wang in 2005 is going to use a brain scan technique. Okay? Uh, basically, the brain scan technique is going to be known as arterial spin labeling perfusion MRI. Okay? Arterial spin labeling perfusion MRI. Okay? Uh, you don't need to know what this is. You just need to know the name of the technique. Basically, long story short, he's going to look at which brain's a brain area is active by studying their blood flow. So just area can the blood jaga wo brain area active, all right? So stress can the concept brain area is active unge and kitnunge. That's he's going to study using the arterial spin labeling perfusion MRI. So to do this experiment, he has 37 participants, not much. So this is not going to be generalizable. Number two, it's going to be conducted in a lab because you have a machinery involved. Dogi. So it may not be uh, externally valid. So it may not be realistic in that regard. So you have 25 people who are going to be exposed to stress, stress and their brains are going to be studied. And you have some people who are not going to be exposed to stress and their brains are also going to be studied. And you're going to compare the two, two uh, group scans. Chica. All right. So so the ke, ke first of all, you want to know unka dibang normally kis dikhta before you make them go under stress, right? So first of all, you want to normally conduct a brain scan on them. This is what, what the first dot mean. This is the normal brain scan, brain scan number one, where you're taking the normal picture of the, of the both of the group's brain. Ke control group ka normal picture of the brain ke and experiment uh, till group ka normal picture ke. Take it. All right. Afterwards, take it up. You conduct the brain scans. The control group gets nothing. You can just do nothing. But the experimental group, take it up. They have to do perform. They have to perform a task that is counting backwards from a thousand. Take it up verbally. So one thousand nine hundred ninety nine nine ninety eight. Right. So this is a stressful task, but this is a low stressful task. Take it up. So when the person does this activity, okay, when the 25 participants complete the counting from 1,000 backwards, unka fit dubara brain scan liya jata, right? This is the second blue dot. And the control group who did nothing, unka fit dubara brain scan liya jata, okay? This is the second dot over here. So basically, dono group ko do dofa brain scan ho chuka hai, right? Control group ka do dofa ho chuka hai. Experimental group can be do the ho but the only difference that is that the experimental group nik task perform kiata and control group the task perform ni kya. Secondly, secondly kya the dono group ke saath tika na uh ye dot sena dono group ke saath in uh dono group ka saliva sample with the ayaka tika so control group and experimental group saliva sample before the task of the experimental group and after the task of the experimental group. So not only their brain scans are being conducted, the saliva is also taken. You get two can there be 
एक चीज होती है जिससे पता चल जाता है कि आप कितने स्ट्रेसफुल हो ऑल्सो ब्रेन स्कैन के साथ साथ इन लोगों का हार्ट रेट भी मॉनिटर किया जाता है बिकॉज यू नो कि स्ट्रेस के दौरान तुम्हारा हार्ट रेट इंक्रीज हो सकता है राइट ठीक है और सो ब्रेन स्कैन हार्ट रेट मॉनिटरिंग एंड द सलाइवा कलेक्शन इज बींग डन टू बोथ द ग्रुप्स ठीक है देर आर गन बी स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स दैट ओनली गन बी डन टू द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप ठीक है नंबर वन इज द टास्क द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप डज द टास्क कंट्रोल ग्रुप डजन डू द टास्क नंबर टू द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप इज ऑल्सो एस क्वेश्चन अबाउट द टास्क द कंट्रोल ग्रुप इज नॉट एस क्वेश्चन अबाउट द टास्क ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप से पूछते हैं टास्क परफॉर्म करने के बाद कितनी फ्रस्ट्रेशन थी आप बताओ कितना एफर्ट लगा था आपके टास्क परफॉर्म करने में बताओ कितना मुश्किल था ये टास्क परफॉर्म करने में इतना बताओ सही है सो देर गन बी एस्ट फ्रस्ट्रेशन कितनी थी एफर्ट कितना चाहिए था एंड कितना डिफिकल्ट था फॉर द टास्क दैट यूर परफॉर्मिंग कंट्रोल ग्रुप इज नॉट कैन परफॉर्म एनी टास्क सो इससे सवाल नहीं पूछते ठीक है एंड ऑल्सो दोनों ग्रुप के अंदर यूर गन गिव नो सर रिपोर्ट of stress and anxiety as in you're going to just verbally ask both of the groups ki kitna stressful hai once they can 9 tak bataye and kitna anxiety hai dono group once they can 9 tak bataye right the only special thing that is being done in the, in the experiment group is the task and the questions that are asked about the task right baaki sab dono group ke andar common tha barabar so yeah dono group ki brain scan ke sath dusri cheez hoti hai phir the only experiment group does the 1000 बैकवर्ड्स काउंटिंग वाला टास्क फिर दोनों ग्रुप का दोबारा वही चीज होती है ठीक है ना एंड द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप आर इज आल्सो एस्क क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द टास्क आफ्टर द सेकंड ब्रेन स्कैन के बाद एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप आल्सो हैज टू परफॉर्म द थर्ड टास्क एंड द कंट्रोल ग्रुप डस नथिंग सो द थर्ड टास्क दैट द सॉरी द सेकंड टास्क दैट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप हैज टू परफॉर्म इज गोना बी समवट स्ट्रेसफुल देन द प्रीवियस टास्क दे हैव टू सॉल्व मैथ प्रॉब्लम्स मेंटल मैथ्स ठीक है ना uh and every single problem is gonna be kya kehte hain difficult and unke uh, upar pressure hoga to solve these problems as quickly as they can and hoga kya if they make a mistake ek bhi zara se bhi right they have to solve the entire uh question ke set from the start so for example if they're solving 10 questions you get question number 9 wrong you're supposed to solve question number 1 so they get ten again so this is a high stressful task the control group meanwhile does nothing So after the high stressful task is complete, दोनों ग्रुप का दोबारा ब्रेन स्कैन सलाइव सैंपल हार्ट रेट मॉनिटर एंगजाइटी एंड स्ट्रेस रिपोर्ट एंड या ये चीज़ें कलेक्ट की जाती है ओनली द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप हु डज द टास्क इज गिव इन अडिशनल क्वेश्चन अबाउट टास्क अबाउट द फ्रस्ट्रेशन एफर्ट एंड डिफिकल्टी सही है सो नाउ वी वॉन्ट फाइंड आउट के वॉट डिड वैंग फाइंड आउट ठीक है ना is there any differences in the function of the brain of people who are exposed to stress and people who are not exposed to stress as well as who can there be koi na koi farak aaya tha dono group ke andar kya heart rate ke andar bhi dono group ke andar koi na koi farak aaya tha let's find out all right by the way this is the uh, ratings given by people in the experimental group for counting allowed from 1000 ठीक है ना दिस इज लो स्ट्रेस टास्क तो दिस इज द एफर्ट डिफिकल्टी एंड फ्रस्ट्रेशन द पीपल फेल्थ व्हेन व्हेन दे वर काउंटिंग फ्रॉम 1000 बैकवर्ड एंड दिस इज द मेंटल मैथ्स की फ्रस्ट्रेशन डिफिकल्टी एंड एफर्ट सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी द मेंटल मैथ्स इज मोर स्ट्रेसफुल देन काउंटिंग बैकवर्ड्स बारल सो या कंपेयरिंग द टू ग्रुप्स व्हाट हैव वी फाउंड वेल वी हैव फाउंड मेनी मेनी थिंग्स We have found के भाई saliva is saliva sample के अंदर if there is some some element that indicates कि आपको stress हुआ है, right? So उसके साथ साथ कोई ना कोई brain का area भी active होगा. For example, if I find something in your spit that can indicate कि you have stress, so I might as well conduct a brain scan, and the brain scan is gonna tell other areas that are gonna be active. So if your spit can tell whether you're stressed or not. तो आपके वेंट्रल प्री फ्रंट कोर्टेक्स एंड राइट ओवर फ्रंट कोर्टेक्स आर गन बी एक्टिव ठीक है सो जब थूक के अंदर स्ट्रेस का लेवल मालूम होता है तो ये दोनों एरियाज एक्टिव होते हैं 
If your heart rate increases during stress, so again, these two areas are going to be highly active, right? So, uske lava, if you're doing some high, highly stressful activity, right, these two areas are going to be activated. And if you generally feel stress, if you're, no matter you're doing the activity or not, generally feel stress, so ye dono areas activate honge. So basically, what I'm saying is, ke whoever gets the stressful task, right, in ke ye wale areas zada active honge as the person come not doing the stressful task. While doing the stressful task, aapke ye areas activate honge, dousay ke nahi honge. Jab stress aapka heart rate degrees hoga, aapke ye wala aur ye wala areas zada active honge as compared to person who's not doing anything stressful, just because the heart rate impact ho and like a thuk kind of stress show hota hai, to ye dono areas bhi highly active honge as compared to when you're not doing something stressful. So differences of activities in, in these areas can let us figure out whether you're experiencing stress ya nahi, right? So doctor is highly applicable because when you go to a doctor, he does a brain scan on you and he finds out that you are not active. Hai. He's going to say that you are very stressed. So yeah, you can find out people's stress level from that, right? Uh, you can also figure out that you can find out that you can find out that you can find out you can find people who could be anxiety patients, right? Because anxiety can have severe stress. Hota hai. So brain scans are possible if these areas are active. Maharal. So again, these are the differences in the result. You're supposed, just supposed to remember what the procedure is going to be. Okay, how many people are. And at the end, but general description, which are the areas active in the area. Okay, so if you don't remember all the areas, that's going to be enough. All right, let's evaluation. Okay, for example, you're going to say, you know what? Uh, ventral prefrontal cortex, and left vitamin uh, was found to be highly active in terms of blood flow when the person was person was experiencing stress. So yeah, but when these stressful activities are, are performed in that time, the right vitamin area and cigarette jars are going to be activated in terms of blood flow. Is this generalizable? Nay, 32 look there, as I said. Uh, this is highly applicable. Is this individual situational? Well, this is situational in the sense that if you're exposed to high stress, wo brain is active. Honge. If you're not exposed to stress, wo brain is active. Nahi honge. Uske lawa, it's also individual in that sense that by a kisi kisi bande ke under shayad stressful situation and there be it means that the brain care is actively honge, especially if that person has high amount of endurance. So uh, it, it's both in individual and situational, right? Main yaha pe situation likhna bhool gaya. Uh, this is not appropriate in the regard ke bhai brain scan ke through stress malum karwana is very gonna, it's gonna be expensive for people. So everyone may not be afforded. Uh, everyone may not be afford to afford the machinery. So har ka hospital ke paas ye machine nahi hoga. And to operate the machine, you need staff who are trained. So you cannot get trained staff as well, har jaga. So these are highly cost costly methods to find out people's stress. But the good thing is this is objective. Because brain scan can the objective result out there. So it's free of biases, right? Is can there there's no way you can fake your data because there's no way you can fake the blood flow to those areas, right? If you're stressful, there's no faking it. So it is objective in that regard, but it is deterministic. You, can, you cannot control the blood flow in that area consciously. Automatic procedure. So it is deterministic in that regard. And nature, nurture, is nature yoga because you're studying a person's natural physiological reaction. Is it reductionist? Well, yes, could be because you're only focusing on the physiological aspect, ignoring the other aspects that are out there. So that is it for the first physiological measure by Wang. Second physiological measure, so there's two physiological major scale experiments. This is gonna be a fun one, but it's gonna be by Evans and Werner, right? So Evans and Werner are not gonna do a brain scan, right? They're gonna just simply find out whether saliva can tell you if you're stressful or not, right? So they're gonna just do a simple saliva test. 
सलाइवा टेस्ट किस तरह होता है मुंह में वो कॉटन स्वाब डालते हैं देन दे कलेक्ट द सलाइवा इन द कॉटन एंड दे टेक इट बैक टू द लैब एंड एनालाइज इट राइट इट्स वेरी वेरी क्विक वेरी वेरी इजी वेरी वेरी कन्वीनिएंट वेरी वेरी चीप बरो सो टू डू दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दे डू इट इनसाइड अ ट्रेन सो ट्रेन के अंदर दे आर गोना कलेक्ट अ सैंपल ऑफ सलाइवा सो ट्रेन के अंदर ट्रेन पैसेंजर से कलेक्ट करेंगे ट्रेन उतर रुकने के बाद सबसे लेंगे so the train passengers they choose to collect the saliva from are 139 people 54% of them are male 46 are females so the train ke bare mein kuch special description likhi hui hai ki this train is going from new jersey to manhattan and this train ride is always 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 83 minutes more or less so if you know ke kabhi kabhi let's suppose ke if you're going on a train track train journey for the first time theek hai and if if it's a train journey just can the tum kabhi nahi gayi for example it's a new, it's a new destination to naya rasta hoga na train ka to normally you'll be anxious because you know what you do you you're, you're going to make you're going to make sure ke tumhara stop na ruk uh, nikal jaye you're going to make sure ke you know what you get off on the right stop you're going to make sure that you know what sari jo i don't know like sari cheeze hain tumhara ticket tumhara bas hai ke nahi you know what so the first time travelers are going to have stress naturally when they're going on a new train ride so you want to pick people who are very very used to this train ride theek hai na so these 109 people were those people who were used to this train ride because they were going on for at least one year on this train track theek hai so they're very used to it so the train ride itself is not going to cause them stress theek hai if it did it will be an extraneous variable so that's why we chose to eliminate the extraneous variable by picking people who are used to the train track all right so what else are we finding out where we're, we're going to find out we're going to find out stress basically we know we're going to find out ke bhai train journey ke andar overcrowding se bande ko stress mehsoos hota hai ke nahi hota not the train journey itself but the overcrowding aspect theek hai agar hali train hoga to stress nahi hoga bhara hua train hoga to stress hoga theek hai अब ट्रेन के जो ओवरक्राउडिंग है इसके अंदर टू टाइप ऑफ ओवरक्राउडिंग होती है राइट आई डोंट नो कि तुम लोग बस में कितनी दफा सफर कर चुके हो बचपन में एक होता है बस में रश है ओवरक्राउडिंग है ना बस का मतलब है कि बस के अंदर खड़े होने की जगह नहीं है मतलब जैम पैक ठीक है ना एक ओवरक्राउडिंग होती है जो सीट के ऊपर रश है एक सीट के ऊपर रश का मतलब है दो लोग की जगह है वहाँ चार लोग बैठे हैं जैसे बचपन में वैन में के अंदर होता था राइट सो दे टू टाइप ऑफ ओवरक्राउडिंग एक में जनरली वैन के अंदर रश है लेकिन सीट के ऊपर रश नहीं है एक बंदा एक सीट के ऊपर बैठा होगा दूसरा रश वो होता है जो सीट के ऊपर रश है मतलब दो सीट पर चार बंदे बैठे हैं सो दे टू टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेस एंड वी वॉन फाइनल के भाई विच इज द मोस्ट स्ट्रेसफुल और दू रे कॉज स्ट्रेस एट ऑल and second thirdly the saliva sample major stress yani theek hai so carriage density is the number of uh, people divided by number of seats theek hai na and seat density is number of people divided by kya kehte hain and so number of people in the seat divided by number of seats in the row theek hai so you want to find a carriage density se masla karta hai zyada is seat density so the the way this experiment is conducted is okay when the train stops at manhattan uh, manhattan these 139 people will be approached by evans and werner and inka saliva sample liya jayega saliva sample se lene ke baad wo do sawal aur puchhenge bhai how was the train ride were you care free or burden 0 se leke 5 tak rate karo and how contented were you in the train ride 0 se leke 5 tak rate karo right so there was a report thing as well to para So when they analyze the stress, uh, spit sample, they go in the lab. What they find? They find that by carriage density, the local stress of fark nii padta. People don't care about the carriage density, right? If you get to sit, aram se, bhare train ke na rush ho. But if you get to sit aram se, you have no stress. But if you get to sit pas pas ke, you're gonna have stress. So carriage density doesn't impact stress, but seat density. Will impact stress. So seat density people had higher 
स्ट्रेस लेवल बिकॉज स्पिट के अंदर एक चीज होती कोरिसोल दिस दिस कोरिसोल कैन टेल वेदर द पर्सन स्ट्रेस और नॉट सो हाई कोरिसोल का मतलब हाई स्ट्रेस ठीक है ना सो व्हाई डिड द सी डेंसिटी पीपल फील मोर स्ट्रेस देन द कैरी डेंसिटी पीपल वन वन सिंपल रीजन सीट के अंदर अगर आप आराम से बैठे हो भले दूसरा फंस के खड़े हैं यू विल स्टिल हैव योर ओन प्राइवेसी राइट बट इफ योर सीट का थोड़ा सा पोर्शन is taken by someone else iska matlab hai seat density ho rahi hai and iska matlab aapki privacy invade ho rahi hai because aapki personal space invade ho gayi na because someone else is also sitting on your seat so this causes highly this is highly stressful bahar our, our main concern is ke yes spit sample saliva sample works in finding out whether people are stressed or not theek hai so is this study valid well Yes, because saliva sample can that you cannot lie about the level of cortisol, so it is objective in that regard. Uh, everyone who is given the saliva sample, they are standardized, and this study is ecologically valid. It may not be generalizable to people from the other areas. It may be only generalizable to people in those particular train tracks. It, was it appropriate? Yes, it's easy to perform. You don't need expensive equipment. You don't need expensive setups. You don't need trained people. Just collect the saliva. That's it. Is this applicable? Yes. So now you know कि हम सलाइवा से भी स्ट्रेस मालूम कर सकते हैं सो यू कैन डू दिस ऑन योर ओन इफ यू हैव अलाइवा एनालाइजिंग किट मिल जाता है फार्मेसी से सो यू कैन ऑल्सो मेजर योर स्ट्रेस यूजिंग दिस सलाइवा टेक्निक इज दिस द रिजल्ट इंडिविजुअल सिचुएशन वेर इज सिचुएशन इफ हाई सीट डेंसिटी अकर्स यूर गना फील स्ट्रेस इफ नॉट यूर नॉट गना फील स्ट्रेस सो इट इज सिचुएशन इन दैट एस्पेक्ट is it deterministic yes because you cannot control this cortisol in the saliva sample so it's not depending upon your free will is it nature nurture is based on na- uh, nature because saliva sample ka jo secretion hai release hai, it depends on the natural mechanism of the body uh kya kehta hai is it reductionist yes you're only focusing on the physiological aspect you're not focusing on the cognitive or behavioral aspect theek hai so you guys should also know that is not in the part of your official syllabus but is part of the things that they can possibly ask you about theek hai so you guys should know ke bhai apart from saliva we can also find the stress cortisol cortisol is stress right so we can find the cortisol level using two additional methods as well saliva second is blood test blood ke andar bhi cortisol level pata chal jata hai and the third is urine urine can there be cortisol level pata chal jata hai so if you do a urine test blood test or saliva test these all can tell you the cortisol levels right all you have to do is find the cortisol analyze it jitna zyada high hoga utna zyada stress hoga so yeah so they ask you how does saliva help to manage stress you take the cortisol you analyze it uske alawa they do ask you saliva cortisol ke kya fayde hain is objective as i said number two is very very convenient two alternative physiological methods they're not saying two alternatives to physiological methods they're saying physiological methods ke andar bhi do alag tarike hain uske andar hota hai to as you can see urine sample bhi aata hai blood sample bhi aata hai gsr if you want to know what's gsr gsr is basically the lie detector test स्किन के ऊपर कोई ना कोई पसीने का लेवल या इलेक्ट्रिकल डिस्चार्ज मालूम होता है एंड द मोर स्ट्रेसफुल यू आर द मोर जी एस आर इज एक्टिवेटेड सो इफ यूर लाइट डिटेक्टर वर्क इन दैट मैनर बट नॉट रिलायबल ठीक है सो यूरिन सैम्पल के अंदर यू टेक द यूरिन राइट एनालाइज इन लैब पता चल जाएगा सेम फॉर द ब्लड सैम्पल राइट एनालाइज इन लैब पता चल जाएगा ठीक है अच्छा सो they're also asking ke bhai suggest two alternative physiological major stress which we have and but you're also supposed to tell them ke bhai you know ne kyun nahi istemal kiya train my study mein why saliva sample when you had so many choices well urine sample number one cannot be done in a public place obviously and blood ke liye masla ye ho jata hai ki train is a move, move train moves right so train moves to uh, so nahi nahi ya wo train station ke andar kar raha tha right so train station ke andar if, if they do it so even if the person station is the people may bump 
नंबर टू उस माहौल गंदा होता है तो नीडल कुड बी इन्फेक्टेड सो द सलाइवा सैंपल उस इज रिकॉर्ड क्यों क्योंकि नॉर्मल पीपल इन अ रश राइट सो दे वोंट वेट फॉर लॉन्ग राइट सो सलाइवा इज द मोस्ट क्विकेस्ट सो दैट्स व्हाई दे यूज्ड इट इट्स प्रैक्टिकल इट्स सेफ इट्स क्विक uh yeah this is a debate question ke bhai evans and werner ki study reductionist thing you are supposed to tell why and you are also supposed to tell why ke it was not reductionist it was reductionist because it only measures saliva cortisol levels right it does not account for the person cognition right so that's a reductionist and ho sakta hai so sirf saliva level cortisol malum karne se we could have in matter results ho sakta hai some people could have naturally high occurring cortisol levels right that we might have galti se count them as stress so that's the mistake that's the price we pay when we just rely on the cortisol level and don't take everything in consideration so that's why reductionist you're going to say no it's not reductionist because we will be also accounted uh, for the situational factor as well because when we found out the difference of stress in the c density carriage density we also included the situational aspect as well so that's why we're not only looking at the physiological aspect but we're also looking at situational aspect that's why it is not reductionist so 1.4 1 point against second point is it reductionist or not well uh you can say okay it is reductionist in that regard okay you know what uh you're just conducting kya kehte hain uh kya kehte hain yeah you're just conducting an experiment to find out the level of cortisol the difference between c density of high carriage density and high c density right but ho sakta hai ke you could have done more as in this experiment only finds out the differences in stress levels right so this does not give us any indication of what other factors might have been responsible for c density right so we get limited amount of information right from this study so that's why reductionist the counter evidence to that is ke bhai because you you also use the self report measure yeah the self report is not given so we are also taking people's opinion in terms of the burden and frustration that they felt in train journey so we are also no we are not only looking at the situational physical physiological but we are also looking at the people's own perception and cognition or how they think about this situation as well so that's why this experiment is not reductionist because we're considering multiple aspect when we're gathering data so yeah is tarike se i'm sure you guys can come up with more better points but this is the standard debate bharat oh yeah abhi tak humne do physiological measures kiye koi masla abhi tak emmons werner and the wang brain scan All right. Um. ठीक है. मेरे पास seven minutes हैं तेरे. Okay. All right. So the next way to measure stress is not going to be physiological. It's going to be self-report. And this is going to be consisting of home and rahi that we discussed in the previous class. So home and rahi, right? When they ask the three hundred plus participants to Uh, assign lcus to these random 43 events they actually made a question in our web so basically based on the previous experiment they conducted right unhone iske behind pe questionnaire banwaya tha so the questionnaire is known as social readjustment rating scale theek hai and is based made by homes and rahim so maine link attach kar diya theek hai slide ke andar so you can just copy paste it Open it. ठीक है. We're gonna open it right now. It's online. Also, it's free to do it. ठीक है. So basically, this is what the question looks like. They give you random forty-three items, right? And her forty-three item के बराबर में LCU जो study के अंदर assign किए तो लोगों ने वो भी लिखे होते हैं. 
your job is very, very simple. Your job is to look at these 43 events, right? And your job is to say either yes and no. Okay. What are you gonna say yes and no about? You're supposed to read this, right? For example, did this event happen to you in the previous one year, two years? So, like, I guess eight goes out of time frame data. So, I think the most previous you can go is back two years. So, what is the most you can go back two years? So, what is the most you can go back two years? So, what is the most you can go back two years? So, what is the most you can go back two years? So, what is the most you can go back two years? So, what is Spouse death okay, so he's gonna say yes. Death okay, the divorce or separation. He's not in jail. So yeah, that of a close family member to top. Uh he lost his job, right? Retirement to Paliki was you Uh and let's suppose financial state be harab The wife was a close friend to death of a close friend, we got it. Um And we're gonna say okay, that troubles and in-laws be okay, right? And we're gonna say okay, change in living conditions be okay because of this death. And we're also gonna say okay, you know what? No more socializing, no more family get-togethers. And yeah, so yeah. So basically this guy in the previous two years has death of a spouse, the death of a close family member, he's fired at work, Changing financial state, that's her close friend, and troubles with the in laws, and no more changing living conditions and social activities, and kya kata? yeah, no family get togethers. So, basically, what Holmes and Rahi will do, Jabbo Baham analyze kar denge, calculate my total. Karke. So, my total is coming at 372. This 372 is based upon Jobi my tick. Ke. For example, it's a tick, ke na? yes, it's 100 plus 100 plus 63 is 163. Plus 47 plus 38 plus 37, right? So this is how they calculate the total that I got. So my total is 372. So what am I supposed to do with this number? 372 is the LCU or 372 is the life-changing units I have had in the previous two years. What does this mean? According to Holmes and Rahi, if your score is 11 to 150, you're fine. If you're 152 99, you are on the borderline. But this guy, Tikana, has 300 plus. So 300 plus is a very, very severe score. So this guy, Tikana, has very high chance to become ill in the future. So ideally, you don't want to have L many, many high LCU. The, L the most LCU you want to have is 150. Tikana, the LCU in the previous two years can cause problems. So Holmes and Rahi ki questioner se, hum jab logo ko dete hain, tumka score aata hai. And this score can allow us to know in advance ki kya ye banda aage ja ke bimar ho ga hai, nahi ho ga, right? So that's the logic. 300 wala score aata hai, problem. Thik hai, um, uh, alright. So by that logic, if we evaluate this questioner, right? Is this self-report? Yes, it's self-report. So is there could did, uh, could there be demand characters? Yes, there could be easily. Person can lie to have more sympathy. Okay, na? Kya pata sabse zada stress dikal de? To have more sympathy, baral. So it is not kya kehte hain? It's not free of demand characteristics, but it does give you objective data. It's very easy to score, right? It's very very it's cost effective because it's free online. Okay, jaise abhi humne kiya. Uh, lawa, is this reductionist? Well, nahi, you can look at many, multiple situations from multiple angles. Uh, is this individual situational? Well, it's individual situational both because whatever happens to the guy, that's going to make him stressed. So the more situation you, you experience, the more stress you're going to get. But the number of situations or the intensity of the situation that you feel is going to be differ, different to the two individual to individual. So, is both this study uh, this questionnaire could be culture biased because there could be some stressful things that are in your culture but not mentioned on this questionnaire and there could be some things in this questionnaire that you don't consider stressful in your culture 
so it could be culture bias so you know uh, because this was made in america 1967 ke andar to 1967 america ke andar ye cheeze count karti thi ab shayad kya pata america ke andar hi 2021 ke andar bhi ye scale up ke jo ratings hai change ho jaye uh, this meeting is going to end so i'm going to be be right back then we'll continue